Welcome back. Your time is 6.15 and we're talking your forecast once again, taking a look outside. It's really a pretty start out there um, and these are just some beautiful days. I think these are probably the best weather days of the year is this sweet spot where it's chilly in the morning, but in the afternoons, it's just perfect outside, Kev. Yeah, you're right. And you were correct, by the way. I did look and last night was the full moon uh, and now uh, we're changing the phase, but that's why it was so bright last night. Maddie was talking about it and yes, it was a full moon for our Monday. Here's a look outside and again, it is beautiful. A few high clouds out there right now. T uh, take a look at our camera network uh, up into Hatchby and here from downtown. Just a beautiful morning all around. Traffic moving smoothly along the 99 near Panama and Mohawk and Rosedale, that typical morning commute. All things are good right there at that intersection. 34 in Delano right now, 39 in Button Willow, 37 in Shafter. Again, Baker's still in the lower 40s and 42, and then we've got 30s and 40s into the mountains, but we've got 20s up in Ridgecrest. So we have a freeze warning for our desert locations, including the Ridgecrest area and then areas to the north up near the Delano area. So if you have any sensitive vegetation, hopefully you covered it up last night as we were talking about this freeze that was going to be in place. Um, and we may see these temperatures get to the the uh, below uh, below freezing temperatures again this uh, this evening into tomorrow for areas to the north and also in the eastern part of the desert. So we'll see if we issue that again. We've got some high clouds as you can see here on satellite and radar. This will push out and the sunny skies will prevail. It is a beautiful morning out of Fraser Park. A few scattered clouds there and also I-5 over the grapevine. Uh, a few high clouds, but that's all you've got going on. So travel is looking good today no matter where you're going. North, south, even along the coastal areas. And I'll tell you a big difference out of LAX. Take a look at this live picture. If you remember just days ago, traffic was backed up all the way out of LAX. Well, things are looking a lot better this morning if you're going to be heading out this direction. It is 54 degrees in LA right now. So we have two systems we're going to track, and they're very weak. So the first one coming in late Wednesday through Thursday morning. Secondary system late Thursday into Saturday morning. And again, these two are going to be mainly north. We've been talking about this ridge of high pressure uh, over the Pacific Northwest. It will move east a allowing for this to develop and move inland, but there's just not a lot of moisture with it. Here's a look at our future cast, and I put it into motion, and you can see nothing really happens here in Kern County. So I think the only way that we're going to get some measurable rain is if some of this moisture breaks off and kind of makes its way into our area. But this is not a typical storm where we watch all that rain just push into the Central Valley. Uh, we're gonna, it's going to be sparse. As we take a look at our uh, future cast model, and you can see Fresno, under 500 of an inch and for us right around a hundredth of an inch if we are lucky for Kern County. Today it's going to be a beautiful day so I hope you'll get out and enjoy it. We're looking at 68 in Bakersfield, Arvin at 70, 66 in McFarland and Wasco, Taft at 65. It's going to be another cool night ahead with temperatures into the 30s and 40s and then for the mountains mostly sunny today. A southeast wind 10 to 15, 54 in Fraser Park and Tehachapi, 60s for the Kern River Valley but tonight it's going to be cool with 20s at of Fraser Park into Hatchby, 30s into the Kern River Valley, and then out in the desert. Uh, sunny skies today. Look for that northeast wind, 10 to 15, gusty to 30, 59 in Mojave, and a nice day in Ridgecrest after a cool overnight with temperatures right near 62. Take a look at that extended forecast a little bit more in just a bit. For now, we'll send it over to Maddie.